Hello beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I am coming to you all in my total natural state. Well, as natural as I can get as a relaxed girl. And the reason why, you know, I am coming to you all and showing you all my hair in its natural state is because in this video I kind of want to dispel a few myths as it relates to you know us girls or women who have relaxed hair and first and foremost one of the biggest myths i'm sure is that people with relaxed hair will most likely end up with damaged hair and hair that is super thin i just want to say that this is totally false. I have been relaxing my hair since I was about 13 years old, as I believe I've said in one of my previous videos. And I'm currently 26 years old, and my hair, as you guys can see, is still super duper de duper thick. I know it looks a bit dry right now, but that is because I just got out of the shower, well not just a couple hours ago, and I detangled my hair and I pretty much just allowed it to air dry on its own. So this is what I'm left with, uh, a full thick head of hair that even though it's kind of dry right now, it's healthy. Um, so yeah, uh, like I was saying though, you can definitely attend to your hair and take care of it as long as you know you do certain things and the first thing that I would like to say that us relaxed girls should do is wrap your hair every single night guys even if you're so tired even if you know you're not planning to save your hairstyle for the next day or anything just wrap your hair and I have this bonnet, it's a simple bonnet with like an elastic band and this is my go-to bonnet um, whenever, you know, the elastic, it, it kind of stretches out after a while but whenever that happens, I just go to the store and I purchase an entirely new one because I know that I cannot do without this. When I have my hair, you know, in a straight state, whenever I flat iron my hair or anything like that, I don't usually use this bonnet. I wrap my hair um, using some clips and I will have a separate video on how I wrap my hair. But whenever, you know, I'm rocking protective styles or um, a bun or anything like that, this is my go-to for protecting my hair while I sleep. I'm telling you that if you wrap your hair every single night, you will experience such a decrease in the amount of breakage, guys. I am not kidding. Wrapping my hair has helped me so, so much. As far as, you know, um, hair products are concerned, I am a loyal, um, fan of two different kind of hair products or two lines of hair products and that is um, African Pride the Olive Miracle line I love that line so much and also Protective Mega Growth when it comes to these two brands and the lines uh, I am so loyal they have helped my hair so much um, protective mega growth has so many good products for us relaxed girls I love their oils their deep conditioning treatment oh my goodness it infuses my hair with so so much moisture their break free leave-in conditioner and I will leave the link um, in the description box below to all these products so you can check them out for yourselves I will actually link the websites as well you know the um, African Pride website and the Mega Growth Protective website so if you're interested in checking out any of these products reading up more about them then definitely uh, pursue those in the description box below but yes I am a loyal fan of both these um, lines of products I feel that they have helped my hair so much as it relates to breakage, adding shine and adding moisture and uh, those are three things that I feel us relaxed girls are always concerned about, you know, locking in moisture, um, ensuring that our hair looks shiny and healthy and of course avoiding breakage so that we can retain length and um, so that, you know, we can retain the, the thickness of our hair as well. 
Um, I do trim my hair often because I am a strong believer in uh, uh, healthy looking hair over length. So health over length. And um, I would get a trim about every three months or so. So I don't see um, as much length as I would if I didn't get trims. But I just prefer to, you know, get rid of split ends and have healthy and beautiful looking hair. I wash my hair anywhere from once a week to twice a week and I have no problems at all. Um, it doesn't dry out my hair or anything. Just ensure that the shampoo and conditioner that you are using infuses your hair with moisture, detangles your hair, and you will be good to go. I have a dry, itchy scalp, so I really cannot push my wash days past a week. I would like to go out on a limb and even say that the more I wash my hair, the faster I see growth. You guys can either, you know, uh, take it as um, the gospel or you can take it with a grain of salt. As far as styling is concerned, um, even though I have relaxed hair, I do not straighten my hair on a weekly basis. Actually, I believe I only straighten my hair about twice a month, as crazy as that sounds. I try to stay away from heat as much as I can. I wear my hair in a lot of protective styles, including twist outs, braid outs, and um, I wear a lot of buns as well. I would definitely advise anyone with relaxed hair to try to cut down on the amount of heat you put in your hair. There are tons of styles out there that do not require heat that you can get away with and your hair will still look really, really nice. Do not think that just because you have relaxed hair, you cannot pull off wash and go hairstyles. There are tons of wash and go hairstyles that, you know, us relaxed persons can pull off. Whenever I feel like my hair needs it, I would definitely go ahead and deep condition it, put hot oil treatments, and you know, just different little remedies like that. Um, I co-wash sometimes even though I have relaxed hair. Um, if I am just tired of dry hair, I go ahead and I co-wash my hair. There is nothing that you can do with natural hair that you can't do with relaxed hair except probably finger curl or coil your hair. But the possibilities with relaxed hair guys are unlimited. Do not think that just because you have relaxed hair you can't do certain things. A lot of the people that I subscribe to on YouTube or that I watch have natural hair and you know, I just take whatever I want from whatever they're saying, from their regimen and I just kind of work that into what already works for me and I find that that works. So please do not think that you know, oh because she has natural hair, uh, whatever is working for her won't work for me or you natural people out there, if there's anyone who is natural and watching this video, don't think that you cannot use the same products I'm using because I have relaxed hair. That is totally totally false. It's all about how you take care of your hair. It's all about what products work for you. So yeah. This is something that I am guilty of not always following but I would definitely advise persons with relaxed hair to always 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 detangle your hair with a wide tooth comb especially if it is wet. Whenever your hair is wet it is in its most fragile state so it is especially especially prone to breakage. When it comes to styling tools that you use, always ensure that they have a ceramic layer to protect your hair from all that heat. Trust me guys, it is super important. I used to use tools that were not ceramic and they would really burn my hair. Um, especially if I had products in my hair prime to using them, they would pretty much fry my hair. Um, also, I will definitely say to us relaxed persons to stay away from hair dyes. I mean, yes, if you want to, you know, put a color in your hair, then go ahead and use a rinse or something of that sort. But as far as permanent dyes are concerned, definitely, I would definitely encourage relaxed people to stay away from permanent dyes. And I am saying this from experience 
when I just started college, I was pursuing my associate degree and I wanted a change, you know, I was out of high school and I just wanted something different and the biggest mistake I made was to put, of all colors, blonde highlights in my hair. And it was just my hair, my hair was mad at me for at least two or three years guys I had to trim my hair so so much to get out all that um, dye out of my hair um, I would pray at night that my hair would grow so that I can trim it some more um, it was a horrible time it looked so dry it looked so stringy and if I didn't learn my lesson at that time, I went ahead after and I said, oh, it was probably because I, I dyed my hair blonde. It's probably due to the blonde streaks, you know. Blonde streaks aren't for us persons of color. So why don't I try a permanent burgundy or red, I believe it was. I'm not sure. But let me tell you, that was even worse than the blonde highlights, okay? My hair looked so dry. The color when it was fading from my hair, I have no idea how that happened as well because I got it professionally done when the color was fading from my hair. Um, it looked really rusty. My hair looked so rusty and so dry. Like, I was so ashamed, guys. I was so ashamed. I would wear my hair up in ponytails to try to conceal it as much as I possibly can so please 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 if you want to put any kind of color in your hair then use a rinse use perhaps a semi-permanent dye but do not use a permanent dye please please it's the worst thing you can do for your relaxed hair stay away from permanent dyes as far as relaxers are concerned, I will not go on and say you, you should use this specific type of relaxer or that specific type of relaxer. We all have different hair types and we should just use whatever relaxer we find works best for us. But whenever, relax, whenever you're going to attempt to relax your hair, please do not relax your hair before the six week mark okay even if you feel like you have so much growth even if you feel like your roots are thickening up even if you feel that your roots are you know getting coarse or anything like that just wait it out guys um i know that i relax my hair every eight weeks and that is just because i start experiencing breakage if i try to you know stretch my relaxer past that time yes i do experience um, more growth but I experience more breakage as well and for me it's just not worth it so I try to not go over that eight week mark as much as possible but I would not advise anyone to relax their hair every four weeks every three weeks or every five weeks don't do it okay you're over processing your hair and the only thing that can lead to is a breakage and damage and weak strands okay don't do it wait out the six weeks if you feel that your hair you're not achieving the desired straightness or anything like that protective styles updos anything but just wait it out because it will be so beneficial to you in the long run i am relaxed because my hair in its natural state when i was younger at least because i've been relaxing my hair for so long um, was just too much for me to maintain as you can see I have a thick hair and um, when my hair wasn't relaxed it was two times as big and it would get tangled it would take forever for me to comb and it was just something that I could not deal with um, even when I was younger you know it was a lot I'm sure for my mom to handle because my mom has straight hair my mom was actually the one who relaxed my hair the first time because I asked her to and because she just knew that it would have made both of our lives easier and that is a decision that up to today I do not regret I can't say that I would never go natural or I would never you know attempt to go natural at least but for right now I really love my relaxed hair and even though half the world is going natural and there are only a few of us relaxed girls left out here I just want to say love your relaxed hair love whatever texture hair you have do what works for you watch other videos watch what other people do and just take what you feel you need to take 
you know ignore what you feel you need to ignore and um, just take care of your hair so as long as you take care of your hair guys your hair will show you love back and that is pretty much um, how I feel about my hair and how I've managed to keep it thick and healthy <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to give me a great big thumbs up um, I hope to see you all the next one.